Well, here we are again. Another unboxing video. Well, that and a couple other things. Anyhow, um, I got this. So let's see. Test station. I don't even know what it's supposed to be testing. All I know is it, it worked and I did, it didn't cost hardly anything. And I'm going to put these peanut things in it. Of course. I don't know if I can get it out. There it is. I'll be sitting there. I don't know. Get more of these things out of the way. Well, at least today we're having fairly decent weather here in Lone Valley, Nevada. Although people to the east of me are still flooded. Flood waters haven't quite receded yet. Jeffrey, come back with that peanut. Uh, grab anything that falls on the floor. Hey, there you go. There he goes. <laughs> hey, come over here. Silly dog. Anyhow, so, yeah, people down the road from me, actually about quite half a mile. Boy, it is. It's been news and everything here. It hasn't been that flooded over here, actually. Um, one person I know, who actually is on YouTube also, she uh, said she's lived here longer than me. She's lived here for 13 years and has never, never once seen it flood before over there. She has some horses over there, and luckily she, she said uh, it didn't flood her path. It just got to the end of her place. Okay. Uh, this is a test station. Got a signal input here, and made by Westcon. It's been tested, so something else for me to plug in and blow up. Anyhow, so I got that, and the tubes came from Viva Tubes today. I got those. Get the project out in the garage. But the uh, 1937 radio, I just got it, the, the other tube in for that one. I just put it in, and I'm going to show you what it's doing. I put it back in the case. And everything, basically, it's all finished up. I've changed all the capacitors out. I've done everything I can do to it. Closer. Closer. I'm going to tilt this thing down. All right. There it is. What are you doing, Chubby? All right. I've tilted it down. The dog's probably going to get in the way. Or the cat. I don't know which. But I'm going to turn this thing on. And, oh yeah. Lights on. Jerry, what are you doing? Oh, that's weird. I was just working a second ago. Oh my goodness. It's working fine. Everything's lit up back there. Nothing smoking or anything like that. Can I turn that thing down the other way? No. I think so. Huh. Oh, well, that's weird. I've got all kinds of stations with it, too. Oh, well. That's weird. 
What on earth happened now? No, I don't know. Something happened. Don't know what it was. It was working before. Now I don't know what's going on. Oh, cheat. Well, it's just something else I got to do. What are you doing? Dog. It's running all over the place. Uh, well, that didn't go too good. <laughs> oh, this is another new radio. This is an amateur radio, this one here. This, I just unboxed this from yesterday. But, sorry, didn't record it. But, uh, no, it's bugged me. Now I gotta go back and see what happened to the radio. It was working just fine a second ago. But I had another thing I had to do here today because my one of my GFI, GFCI uh, plugs went out in my kitchen. So I had to change it out. I didn't have a GFCI, so I had to go ahead and put a regular plug in. I got another GFCI near the corner. But here we go again. Never ending story here. And uh, there is the offending unit right there. Sucker, I don't know why, but it would not reset. Kept trying over and over, just will not reset, so it's, it's gone. So, in the meantime, I have just a regular one until I can find one. Chubby, what are you going to do? Get away from the beans. Hey, yeah, okay, goodbye. Anyhow, so, that's weird. I don't know why that didn't work. It was working fine. I'll have to go and check to see what happened. Anyhow, that's about it from here. With all the animals going wacko here. Yes, I know. And see you guys later.